Project a tip. We're in this world, but we're not of it. We have an open sacral. Our aura absorbs. We absorb things that we can't even see. We absorb a vibration. We absorb other people's aura. We absorb other people's mental beliefs and thought patterns and these things. So, what do we do? Knowing that we are in this world currently, but we're not of it, knowing that we are, we have a greater access to these celestial realms, to these vibrational tones, to these energetics that are beyond what we can see. This is why a lot of projectors are healers, a lot of projectors are guides, a lot of projectors are interested in spirituality in all these different things because we're actually more connected. We have, a, we have a unique openness, the open sacral absorbing aura so that's a that's a real gift but a lot of projectors will feel like it's not a gift because it, it brings challenge when we don't know that when we don't understand our our uniqueness but knowing that but knowing but respecting we are here in this reality we are here in this world what can we do well as a projector you can simply think about it like connecting to the four elements the four elements of this reality, it's Mother Nature. And that's what I'm doing right now. I've got the sun, the fire. Now you can connect to the sun through creating a fire, through lighting a candle, through fast breath work. You know, there's different ways to connect to the fire element. But the sun's behind me here. You can connect to the earth in many ways. You can get lower down to the earth. You can get your bare feet on the ground like mine are at the moment, your hands on the ground. You can go and touch a tree. You can sit in the park. We, our bodies are made up of all these elements in, in specific ratios. You know, I don't know the exact ratios, but it's something like 70% water uh, there might be something like 3% fire, most likely 10 or 20% earth and some air, you know, the breakdown. And it's, it's known by yogis, it's known by um, people that we are made up of these elements and the more that they're balanced within us, the more grounded we are and as projectors with the open sacral, with the open aura, that takes in our environment, almost becomes our environment. The more open centers you have in your human design chart, the more you're taking in your environment. I have seven open centers. Therefore, it's important for me always to stay in this reality, not, you know, disappear, not go up into my mind all the time, not dissociate, not fantasize, not, you know, to actually stay here because this is why we're here as projectors is to bring in a mission, a vision into this reality and support. The water element. Now there's nothing better than jumping in the ocean because of the salt water, because of the negative ions. But you can have a bath, you can have a salt bath, a shower, water element. Splash your face with cold water, water element. Whatever it is for you, but bringing in these elements and then the air well that's just being conscious with your breath that could even be taking a few deep breaths and being aware of the air element and some of you you know many projectors are quite intuitive some of you will know oh this element is is off in me or I, I need more of this element, you know, the air element might be, you, you could feel spacious, you could, you know, if you've got too much of the air element, you'll be moving very fast through life, you'll be thinking, can't stop the mind, all these things, so if you've got too much, then you want to get some more earth element, 
if you're feeling like you need to be cleansed or you need to just let go of emotion, that would be the water element. If you want to be more grounded, get closer to the earth. Physically get close to the earth. Touch the ground. And then the fire element. If you're feeling like you're not penetrating life in the way that you want. If, if you don't have that courage or determination or, or your actions aren't really going anywhere. It's like, you know when you shake someone's hand and they shake it back and they're like soft hand, you know. It's like a wet. It's, it's not the best experience. It's like you want that, that strength at times to be met. And if you're a projector and you sort of got a bit of a softer nature, that can be beautiful. But if you're also got a big dream and you notice, oh, it's not really happening, you might want more of the fire element. That could be also brought in through having some ginger, having some turmeric. You know, there's many different ways to bring more of the elements into your life. But I just wanted to bring that in as a projector knowing that we are here, knowing that we are open, that we are absorbing. So how can we be rooted in ourselves here, connected to all the elements powerfully? People can feel it. People can feel uh, someone that's grounded, someone that can be direct when need to with the fire, someone who can be open and emotional, yet not completely taken by their emotions. Someone with flexibility, openness, spacious, clear mind through the air. You can feel it. So check in with yourself in this moment. And this was just a, a brief opening into bringing in the elements to your life as a projector. And I thought there would be no place better to do that and share this here in Bali when I'm surrounded by all the elements. And if you can... Be surrounded by the elements more and more and at times throughout the day not be surrounded by so many people. Let nature heal you. Let the elements clean you. And then from that place, from that stability, move into the world. Meet other humans. You will absorb things. That's okay. That's a part of how we guide, how we understand. There's a depth that we can, we can see into another. Yet, we need this foundational base of, of strength, of stability within ourselves. And the elements are an incredible, incredible nourishment point, understanding point that as projectors we really should look towards and look towards to support and nourish us. From Bali, wishing you all the best.